yes, it's me, Holly Agbar, back with another match reaction as Tottenham have just beaten Frankfurt in the UCL 3-2 uh, at home. If you're new to the channel, please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe so you never miss a video. Yes, ah, uh, it's Holly's Hotspurs back with another one. Chatting all things Tottenham, we're second to none. Special guests every time, if it's win, lose or draw. The passion is high like Harry Kane when he scores. Or when Lloris makes a world-class save. We got Hoybier running the mid every game. Settle down, stick around, share your thoughts with the panel. And make sure you're subscribing to the channel. Coys. Let's, ladies and gents, we are happy on this Wednesday night because Tottenham have just beaten Frankfurt 3-2 at home. That puts us at the top of our little group Champions League table. Lovely jubbly. Uh, we saw some differences from, obviously, the Brighton game. We swapped out from three in the middle to two in the middle with Hoiberg and Bentenko. We obviously saw Emerson play. Uh, we won't talk about him too much, but he did play an OK game. They were pretty much the changes. Uh, the game didn't go quite as well as we planned. Obviously, we went behind early doors when Eric Dyer decided to have an absolute disastrous first touch, practically giving the ball to the Frankfurt player. Um, we then do some slidey business and the Frankfurt player manages just to slot it home. Um, it was absolute carnage in defending for those of that phase of play. But it didn't matter because we came back with an instant reply uh, from Hyun Min Son. Harry Kane manages to slot the ball through to him, does a few ball rolls and then slots it past the Frankfurt keeper as cool as you like. Sonny looked like a different animal tonight and it was great to see his full on confidence. Then after that, we get awarded a penalty. I don't really know what the ref was on tonight. We saw that obviously where Frankfurt should have gone down to nine men, but because he gave a yellow card, VAR could overrule it. Um, he was having a proper, proper mare tonight, but it didn't matter because we got awarded that penalty through VAR, which took an age for him to look at the screen. But nevertheless, it got given... Harry Kane stepped up, slotted it in the right corner, cool as you like, and we saw us sitting pretty at 2-1. But it didn't stop there, because then Sonny went the extra mile, and I think he scored one of the best goals I've seen him score all season. And I know he scored some absolute whiz-bombers against Leicester, but this one was different gravy. Hoiberg manages to get the ball down the side into the box after Richardson was taken down but the rest screamed play on. Hoiberg slots it into the box in the air to an unmarked Sonny who first time bullies it into the roof of the net. I thought he was literally going to blast it and break the net. Um, special mention to obviously Cecil Young who pulls the defender away from Sonny so he's got so much time to time it well but I don't think he really needed to time it. It literally hit the sweetest part of his boot and went into the top bins. Um, it was incredible. That Goal is still replaying in my head. Um, it was great stuff. Obviously, then we sit pretty at half-time at 3-1. And you think to yourself, more goals are going to come. Uh, but sadly for us, it didn't quite go like that. Because in the 87th minute, after about 20 minutes of passage of play that was not great, it went a bit flat, we saw that Frankfurt scored from a corner. Then for about the last two minutes plus five minutes of stoppage time, I think I aged about 10 years because there were so many opportunities each end of the pitch. Nobody really managed to settle um, throughout that period of time. But uh, there was instances where Harry Kane got given another uh, penalty. That was awarded after Brian Hill did some wiggly stuff, managed to go chop in and get brought down into the box. Harry Kane just steps up to take the penalty and my brain still can't compute that he smashed it over the top of the bar. We could have been sitting pretty at 4-2. Um, it, it was a mad couple of moments. And then we could have seen Brian Hill score another when Harry Kane is set free, crosses it, it just goes over the head of Brian Hill. It's a great moment from him. He's a little bugger and I love it. Um, but... Nevertheless, the whistle finally blows and we can all breathe again. Uh, so, yeah, it was a great entertaining game. I did enjoy the last 10 minutes. But nevertheless, it doesn't matter. Three points is three points in the Champions League. And it was a pretty much better performance. Um, it was a great tribute uh, to Gian as well. You could hear his name ringing around the stadium. So happy days. We've done him proud. Obviously, we've got Everton at the weekend where Holly Hotspurs Live will be back next Monday at 7pm. Normal schedule resumes. So make sure you tune in for that one. And until next time, come with your Spurs.